it was a big uh, 4 a.m. start today. I'm here at the Dublin port waiting for the boat and uh, yeah, half hour this morning. It is blooming cold, I know that. So, made it to the boat. There's one thing I know about these trips is organization is probably the best thing. Um, left the house this morning at half four. Got here just just after six. Wasn't really hauling ass down the road. It wasn't wasn't a big deal. Um, but uh, yeah, the first thing I normally do is get onto the boat, get something to eat, fill the bike up before I get on the boat because it saves me having to do it on the other side. So really, we are. It is. It has been a decent trip so far, it hasn't major problems. But uh, I have got my donut, I have got my shower with my tea and my Red Bull. I'm just enjoying, hopefully trying to get my phone working because it decided this morning that, well, I had actually left it outside all night and it killed the battery. But now it's telling me I've got like 57%, which is... <laughs> If I don't know that, I would have put it on the bike. Which I'll show you a picture when I get when I get a wee bit further out to the other side. I'll I'll show you I'll show you what I have. Or if I don't, I'll have my helmet on. I'll do because this is all going to be one thing. So what I'll do is I'll show you my setup and explain it. I have got my my ultimate add-ons case. Um, pretty good case. Can't argue with it. I can't. <laughs> I've, I've used them for years. And uh, yeah, it's time to eat breakfast because uh, I got a donut. That's another thing. Because we don't have Krispy Kreme in Northern Ireland yet, I'm driving all the way to England to possibly lift a lot of Krispy Kreme to bring it back. And uh, yeah, I like the donuts over here. So, first bit, first big bit of the trip done, Dustin enjoyed, and uh, I'm watching the cranes go past as the, as the Simpsons, I'm just sitting here. Go ahead, mate. It's safe journey, mate. Hey, let's crunch some money. So, 
been in the hotel room now for a couple of hours. I've had a nap because my head, obviously, big, big loud bike problems. My head is bouncing. And needless to say, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm still to go and lock the bike, so I have to go and do that. And this is only day one. I have to do all this again tomorrow. But probably faster than what I did today because times, <laughs> timings and all that, they're fun stuff. So uh, I'm going to go lock my bike. I think Moto Tangle has arrived. And look, so I'm going to have to go and lock the bike. And hopefully no little turds and mopeds turn up. So it's now day two. Um, we met Moto Tingle and looked last night. Two, two brilliant guys. Um, kind of, kind of awestruck that people see me in, in a way that I don't see it. But we had some drinks. We had some, maybe three pints, with something to eat, chatted, and then this morning we got up. We had our breakfast. Um, it's been. It's been good so far. It's for me. It's like you have to be slowly integrated into people. I'm not a people person sometimes, most of the time, but uh, it's just one of those things. I am really sorry if it's really, really vibrating. Out of coffee this morning, so I'm still vibrating. Um, had a quick shower, getting all my stuff ready. Um, I'll take you through some of the things that I do personally when I come on trips like this. Um and see if it helps, if it helps, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't really, I'm not really gonna worry about that. So really, helmet in this condition, it isn't bad because you're gonna be traveling, it is really dirty at the minute. <laughs> um, first thing is to just come in and just spread out. I have sat nav, hotel stuff, bank card hidden away so you lot can't see it. Banana, the banana is for the journey home. I might do some Mario Karting and throw that at people. Um, key to my bike lock. Um, I got greedy with the pillows. I have my bag sitting where I can deal with what's in them, make sure it's evenly distributed. My money and my motocross books. The one thing I find is when I come in, I always like to have stuff on charge, so I have my battery pack charged and my phones are already charged, so it's not too bad on that case. So, what I think... Oh, you blurry, you blurry. Right. So what I think's happening now is we're going to find a coffee shop in Berry or Berry or Burry or whatever it's called, and then uh, meet up there, probably have a coffee or two, and then go to CCM. Um, it's been interesting because I have a self-control that doesn't let me tell people what I'm doing or who I'm doing it with and with like some Moto Tingle and look it's so easy to tell them because they're so, such a different style to me so I'm, I, I know that it's not happening what's disappointing is that people have dropped out for whatever reason but are still watching what everybody's doing and that's fair enough if you haven't got the time and the money to come you know it's it's a bit of an expense for me personally it's a bit of an expense it's like 150 near 200 pound to do this trip plus fuel so 250 260 and then to come over rush back i'm straight back into work on the wednesday morning so it's like right i have to get used to this but uh apparently the ccm trip it's not a they're not a big they're not a big company. They're not a big business either. So it's literally in and shown around. Which, as I said before in previous videos, it's a start. This is Jenkins. But uh, hopefully I want to try and do something for someone. <laughs> which may inform me in getting lost again. What I'll tell you about getting lost, I'll tell you later on in the video. Because personally it is funny. But personally I near got stuck big time. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I will be cutting in helmet footage of so if it seems like it's all over the place it might be 
and then Instagram will probably have most of the pictures of the factory. So if you if you if you want to see them, just go over to Instagram, search XT Donkey, and that's where you can find everything. I'm paranoid about this lock falling off. So we're now off the ZZM, the ZZM ZZMs is... So yeah, I met Moto Tingle, I met Maja, I met Luke, I met Wigan. And again, I've surrounded myself with good people. So we're making our way to the CCM. It's like 5-10 minutes away. Which is great. And then I leave to do Operation Donut. Where are you going? Etiquette. I'm in a worst case scenario, it has happened. I have a puncher. And I'm running for the boat. This is all I flipping needed. negligible I've left the fucking camp somewhere at this point it's not important <sighs> I 
Ah, oh, you bollocks. Top deck, yeah. Right up the top, yep. Yeah. Cheers. Sorry, Mom.